Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel and it is finally here. The Azul Byte 3 is finally in the house. I have been waiting for this. I did a teaser for you guys not that long ago and I finally have it in the house. Um, I want to say thank you very much first and foremost to Azul for sponsoring this video but the opinions that I'm sharing with you guys about this PC is definitely of my own since I've been using this for a couple of weeks. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive in and check out what's brand new with the Azul Byte 3. This is TK. Let's check it out. First and foremost, the box definitely has a very nice design compared to what we had last year, the Byte 3 mini desktop PC. And this is a big key here. Desktop PC is what we're looking at. So we have some really nice specs that are coming in here. Uh, again, this is made by a company called Azul. Uh, they make really good PCs. Now, if you don't remember, but last year I did a review, or earlier this year I did a review for you guys for this uh, PC. This is a fanless PC that's running basically just full version of Windows Home Edition. Windows 10, and it's simple. It's fanless, you plug it in, you have USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and also the ability of adding a micro SD card to be able to expand the storage on it. Now, that was the mini version of it. Now, they also made one that was called the Byte. This is the Byte Plus. Uh, and this one had the same characteristics, but more horsepower, more RAM, and also the ability to run two displays. So what you notice here is we have more hardware capabilities. And then of course, fast forward all the way to the end of 2017, and now we have the Byte 3. So we're looking again here at a quad core Intel Apollo Lake N3450. Uh, we have four gigs of internal storage, 32 gigs of internal, uh, so four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. But here are where the difference is from what we had last year with the Byte Plus. We have an M.2 hard drive compatibility as well as a SATA slot. So the inside of this case, we're able to actually add and expand the storage of this. We are also now nearly supporting 4K at 60 frames per second. So you're gonna get a really good performance. So first thing we're greeted with is the Byte 3 Fanless Mini PC Quick Guide. Just explains to you how to connect it, some of the main ports, some of the connections, of course. We do have IR on this, which we didn't have last year, as well as the fact that we have that M.2 SATA, as well as the SATA slots, and then 3G support via dongle. So you have the ability of adding 3G connection but there is an additional uh, an accessory that you need to get we have a happy not happy uh, card IP vanish this is a nice VPN service that you can get a nice deal directly using the Zool and here we are here is uh, the Byte 3 um, on the front we have a couple of ports we have the IR blaster as well as the power on and off and it this it does illuminate here and of course Byte 3 on the left, we have a big uh, grill here to make uh, the ability of air to go through. Since this is an air-cooled uh, unit, we need to have really good ventilation. Um, on the back, simple, we have a USB Type-C now that's brand new, VGA, HDMI, which supports 4K at 60 frames, power connector, Ethernet, USB 2, 3.0, two of those ports, Kensington lock, as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the side, we have more USB ports, an additional three, USB 3.0 and a USB 2, and a full-size SD card. So that's going to be really, really nice. Um, on the bottom, again, what we said before is we have now Windows uh, Pro. We're no longer running with Windows Home Edition, so we're running Windows Pro, Intel inside, of course, because of the chipset, um, and of course, some more information. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you guys real quick is I'm going to open up this back plate. I'm going to show you guys um, how I mounted one of my hard drives inside. But before we go too far, uh, here is the power charger with the US plug. You just need to align it, plug it in, and you'll be able to plug this directly into the wall. And we also now have a remote, which we didn't have last year. So this remote is very nice. It's branded with Azul. We have volume up, volume down, menu, back, tab, or home, as well as the direction pad with a click button power on and off so you'll be able to remotely power this on so you can really use this in the living room without having to connect to, and having to go up there and push a button. Of course the settings tab and then mute and then an indicator for the LED and the IR connector. Uh, the batteries are inserted at the bottom you just need to put that in and they do provide those for you. Now you'll notice there's a lot of grills here one two three and then these four screws. Now these four screws are holding the hard drive that I mounted in here so let me go ahead and open it up for you guys and here we are. You'll notice right out of the box, uh, the interface is right there. So this is where we have the, uh, the actual interface for the SATA. We have power and uh, data connection here with a heat sink that's connected. And of course, this is the MTADU SATA slot right here. And then you'll be able to mount it. And there is an included screw here to be able to flatten it um, just to make sure that it sits correctly. Once you're done with all of this, you're able to basically close it directly, align it the right way, put the screws back, and you're ready to go. Here we are at the main uh, home screen. I've installed Steam, of course, uh, I have VLC for video playback. Uh, I did install Asphalt 8 as well as Steam. And uh, again, this system runs pretty good. Uh, boot up time is considerably average. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. 
Um, overall, as far as they actually, the reason why I installed Steam here is so that I can actually play games. And you'll notice right here, on my main PC, I have Doom, I have uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and I'm able to stream them straight. So to use this as a Doom, uh, as a basically a streaming box for Steam, definitely a super, super easy way to do. Just make sure you install Steam on both your PCs, log in with the same account, and as long as you're on the same network, you should be able to share the experience. So here is the Geekbench score that I was able to get out of this box. Uh, I ran this on both the GPU and the CPU. From a CPU standpoint, single core, we were running at 1040 and multi-core at 2401. It works great, specifically since it's a, you know, as I mentioned, fanless PC. Now, as far as the GPU, uh, we ran in, we actually got 3803. And again, it was ran and I ran it a few days ago just to get the information correctly for you guys here in the video. As far as the browser, I did install Chrome and it works perfectly as far as the what you can get expect from it. I was able also to get Plex as well as Kodi running on this. So let's go ahead and run Plex. So here it is, full, full version of Plex. And if you add the additional storage, as I mentioned to you guys, you'll be able to get way more functionality out of Plex as you can run it as a server. The uh, overall gameplay, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick, a quick game here with Asphalt. Now using the remote, you're able to control the volume up, volume down. You can go ahead and you see it right there. Uh, of course, we're able to go into the back. This is uh, just to be able to shut down. If I want to go back, 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 let me just escape here. Uh, I can go into settings by clicking the settings button. Hitting escape takes me back home again. Let's go ahead and hit back. And then of course I can mute and unmute the audio on this and shutting down would be the last option. But if I wanted to actually in any position I want, I can actually use the tab button to be able to tab between the notice. You'll notice it right there, it's tapping between the icon, the home, the windows button, and then going through the uh, other areas. And so you can use the interface, uh, but it's not recommended. It's better to use it with a mouse and keyboard. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is uh, the accessibility. So the internal 32 gigs, you get 28.2 gigs of that available to you. Um, of course, I did add those additional SATA drives. So I have a new volume that's 16 gigs separate from the 88 gigs. So that was about 125 gig uh, or 100 gig hard drive that I did and I partitioned it. I was using this partition for a separate boot. But either way, when I plug it in, I'm able to reformat this, do whatever I want. And of course, here I have my passport. This is a portable USB 3.0 drive that I'm able to access all my information off of. And again, it's running on USB 3, very, very fast. Uh, super easy to connect, super easy to access, uh, and then just basically just open it up and use it as if it's an internal drive. But the main benefit here at the PC is that these two drives can be used to install dr uh, applications, programs, and offset some of the 32 gigs space that you have here so that you keep your OS clean and you can have your program files installed here. So the Byte 3 is definitely a very functional PC. I love the fact that we now have the ability to expand with not only just an SD card, but an M.2 SATA or even a full-size SSD drive, even a spinning hard drive if you'd like. And just be aware, obviously, you know, this is air cooled. So make sure you put it in a place where there's enough ventilation. Since there's no fans, you're not going to have a worry about a lot of very loud noises. And if you're putting an SSD, it's going to stay quiet. Um, gaming, it's not going to be the best gaming system, but you are able to play casual games. That's something you won't be able to do. Uh, but if you have a Steam account, install that on your main PC with the heavy, good hardware. Let's say like an NVIDIA GPU or something like that and uh, offset the, the horsepower from your PC and play the games on this. And it'll work really good over your network. So definitely very flexible. And as I showed you guys with the benchmarks, it really works very nice. Um, you're able to run a full version of Windows 10 Pro here, not just regular Windows 10 Home. And it comes with it, with it in the box. So definitely really, really nice. And there is actually, by the way, a version that has eight gigs of, uh, of RAM, not just the eight gigs, uh, four gigs that I have. And that one will run even better. So. Uh, thank you very much to Azul for sponsoring this video and providing me this unit to check out. Of course, let me know in the, in the comments below what questions you guys have about the Byte 3. This is brand new. It is shipping. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to be able to pre-order. Well, not pre-order, actually get it because uh, I'm still talking as if the item is actually not available, but it is available now. You can definitely order it and uh, definitely check it out. And they do have some combos also with keyboard, uh, like a wireless keyboard with this. So if you want to get this ready to go, make sure you check out the keyboard that they have. I think it's a Logistech keyboard. So like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.